All right, today I wanna to talk for just a little bit about the relationship you have with yourself in front of the mirror and how that's not the version of you that everybody else sees. So as many of you know, if you've been around for a while, that I used to run a commercial photo studio when I lived back in Seattle. And part of what I did for work was headshots. I used to photograph everybody from actors, lawyers, comedians, singers, authors, and some pretty high-end executives at some tech companies. And just about every single one of these people would always comment something negative about themselves and the way that they looked. Even these actors and models who look like perfect specimens of human beings would say this stuff. So if the pretty people are saying that they don't like the way they look, what hope is there for the rest of us? Okay, so let's first talk about the relationship you have with yourself in the mirror, and then we'll get into some of our own self insecurities and why nobody else sees what you see or even cares. So when you look in a mirror, you're seeing a reversed or flipped image of yourself. For example, if you part your hair on the right, you'll see it on the right when you look in the mirror. But when other people see you or when you see yourself in a picture, it's on the left. So immediately this doesn't look right to your brain because you always part your hair on the right and you see that reflected back to you in the mirror. And you've had this relationship with yourself your entire life. Since you were a little kid, you've been looking in the mirror and using that as a gauge for what you look like. And that sort of trained your brain to tell you that is what you look like. But technically it isn't. You've been walking around in public your entire life showing everybody the opposite version of what you think you look like. And it's kind of crazy to think about, but it's true. Do this. Take a selfie with the front facing camera on your phone. Now, when you see yourself before you take the picture, it's just like looking into a mirror. Now take the picture and look at it. It's flipped and you probably don't like it as much as you did before you took the photo. So that relationship you have with yourself is usually the number one reason why you might not like yourself in photos. Now, other reasons are tightly tied to our own self insecurities. And we all have insecurities or things that we don't like about our physical appearance. Even the most beautiful people on the planet have insecurities about themselves. But we see these people as gorgeous and beautiful and super handsome. But I can guarantee you that they have a list of things about themselves that they don't like. But the thing is, other people don't see those things. Like, I would have no idea that you think your nose is too pointy or that you think your eyes are too close together or that you're insecure about losing your hair. Nobody else sees that stuff or even cares. And since I just mentioned hair loss, I wanna talk for just a minute about today's sponsor, Keeps. And one thing I will say though about losing your hair, and I've done my own super scientific research in preparation for making this video by asking different women I know what their thoughts are on men going bald. And a unanimous 100% of them said that first of all, they don't care, but also that men shouldn't be in between, right? Either let it all go and own it or do something about it and keep it. Because wearing a baseball hat every single day, every place you go is something that these particular women didn't wanna see. And honestly, the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it now while you still have hair left. So Keeps is a subscription service that focuses on making it a lot easier and more affordable for men to treat their male pattern baldness online with online doctor consultations with a real doctor, automated shipping and delivery to your home, constant access to your doctor through online messaging and by offering generic options of the FDA approved medications for hair loss. And with Keeps, a licensed doctor reviews all your information online and then recommends the right hair loss treatment plan for you. Then all your treatments are shipped directly to your door every three months. It's that simple. And the sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you can save. So if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com fashion or just click that first link down in the description and receive a special offer on Keeps treatments. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash fashion. Okay, now I wanna chat for just a minute about why you see things about yourself but nobody else does. Because we're all our own worst enemies. We tend to focus on the negative and don't let ourselves see past our own self-imposed flaws. It's like getting critiqued on your work, for example. You could get 100 positive reviews for something that you built or made or created. And then there's that one person who gave you negative feedback. And then at that point, that's kind of all you can think about is that one negative, even though you just got 100 positives. Now, even if you have enough self-awareness to consider the source of the negative feedback, like that person who gave you the negative feedback, 
doesn't even have knowledge in that particular field or arena, so their opinion isn't even coming from a place of relevance or education, so it can be easier to tune them out. But when it's your own self-insecurities, it's yourself who's judging. And who's a better expert on you than you? That's why you tend to always listen to that crazy inner voice inside your head that's always pointing out all of your crazy flaws. Every single person has something they don't like about themselves. And for those of us, like me, who put ourselves out there on camera for the whole world to judge, we get all kinds of negative feedback and personal attacks. Like, I don't have the chiseled jawline DNA and my eyes are crooked. I've got this stupid lisp and one of my ears is bigger than the other one and I think my cheeks are fat and I'm getting bags under my eyes. Now, some of you might already see all of that or if you didn't, you will now. But most of you had no idea because all we see when we look at someone is the whole person. You're not fixating on ears or their hair or lack of hair. We see the entire package as a whole and that's what you need to always remember. Nobody cares about your nose. Nobody cares about the bags under your eyes. What they care about is you and the kind of person you are and how you treat other people and how you make them feel because that is a heck of a lot more important than that stupid pimple on your chin. Now listen, if you made it this far, please do me a favor and hit that like button because it really does help and I would appreciate it. And as always, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Live well and I'll see you in the next one.